So this is what's going on the roof of the van. This is GRP mesh flooring. Um, so glass reinforced plastic. Um, a lot lighter than uh, putting any kind of steel up there. Lasts longer than wood. Uh, and it's got this sort of anti-slip stuff, which I think is broken glass bonded on for something. So the size I've ordered here is, how you specify it, is uh, the depth, which is 25 mil, and the size of the holes, which is, in this case, yeah, about uh, 30 mil. So you don't need any smaller holes than that, it's just going to increase the weight. This stuff is plenty strong, and you don't need the thicker stuff. I think the thicker stuff is 38 mil, I think 50 mil. Honestly, it's overkill. This stuff is very, very strong. Um, so uh, for our applications, this is uh, this is ideal, really good stuff. Great, so we've got three lengths of strut delivered. This is the uh, this is the light duty stuff, um, and uh, it's just a, a thinner metal here. Makes a huge difference to the weight though, um, and if uh, you know, it's, it's unlikely using heavy duty, um, it's going to give any additional strength. The limiting factor on a roof rack is always going to be the strength of the roof, the connections to that. So you're probably looking at about 50 kilos on your roof, um, on your roof rack, and that's it. So uh, yeah, the, the, the light duty stuff is the, the, the stuff to get. This is far stronger than you know, what your roof will support. So uh, we'll get measured up, cut down, prepped, and sent off for painting. Of course it's helpful for them to uh, tape this together with <laughs> tape with fragments. Bastards. So this stuff being uh, zinc plated or galvanised, in this case zinc plated, it's not uh, as thick a coating as galvanising. You can't paint it. Uh, or certainly not unless it's been sitting outside for more than a few months. Um, there's oils and all sorts of stuff in here, which uh, even with powder coating, um, it's just going to come off. So uh, this is really this stuff comes in. Modern solution T wash contains something carbonate. Labels knackered. So it's basically uh, brush this on, give it a rinse with some water, and. Uh, that's all it is, and away we go. A couple of things with this, it's corrosive, so you need to wear gloves, and uh, you need to use, you should sure use AFB, which is uh, any fucking brush. Pound shop sell them. So we'll go around all sides and inside, and just get it totally saturated. You don't need much. One application does the trick. And then uh, this is this is ready for in my case powder coating. But uh, you can paint this with normal paint. If you tried to just spray this, your paint would come off. And I've seen it happen. So the general rule of the thumb when you're uh, painting anything with stuff, any kind of acid is once you've uh, either got complete coverage or the stinging in your hands is uncontrollable that's basically your job done so there we go, nice and uh, black let that to dry give it a quick rinse off with some water and uh, that's the, the tea coating done, tea washing done 